Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today we are going to fix this types of error matches in SQL. Just when we click on the uh, register button and you, you will notice that here we have uh, an error message. So wait for some time, it will be reloaded. So just click on the register button. Oops, something wrong close one and after that we really initialize that application and you notice that here we have an error message uh, it's a runtime error actually it's not a compile time error and actually it's a uh, problem of the user mistakes but uh, we got an error message you notice that when we just click on the register button and just um, add Jacob, uh, Jacob at the rate of gmail.com and contact number is one two three four five six seven and one at the six x y z and password is like that. Okay, so just when we hit the register button, you will got a error message, and the error message is you know. It's the parameterized query system dot data dot sql client dot sql the exception the parameterized query name and where fill five uh, user name and where for fourth uh, thousand email and where expects the parameter username which was not supplied so username was not supplied uh, notice that here we have a username but in the username that is not a value so you can check it because here user is not uh, actually there so just continue and it's an error message and just hit uh, the authenticator services right there so here we have to just hit it okay now after that we will continue with the same data and here we have the address is what that is the uh, password is like that okay so just when we hit the register button and you will notice that here we have a model now in the model here we have a username is that null but null value is not actually recognized right here so just to stop that application and initialize a username so model dot username is the similar as model dot email okay so everything is fine now just after that we will go for and here we go so username is not initialize right here and your problem will be resolved easily okay so you can just know everything is fine uh, with this uh, code and you, now you can just register in, a, in your application okay so here we have just click on the register button and here we have a message is Jacob Jacob at the rate of gmail.com contact one two three four five six seven eight nine one address is xyz password is like that okay just hit to register button and you will notice that here we okay so here we have everything is fine oops username is not also null yeah it's no but it's initialized just after that okay so here we have a model is also initialized just continue to crash it okay so invalid column name contact number you notice that so invalid column name it's contact number but uh, here we have contact number okay invalid column name contact number so here we have a contact number so just copy and notice that here we have username email password name and contact number like that okay So it's a different uh, error message so problem will be resolved easily thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all of us